Hello, I'm Steve Waterworth, Technical Marketing Manager at Weaveworks. In this presentation, I'll be introducing the Weaveworks Terraform controller. This extends the reach of Weave GitOps beyond Kubernetes. Real applications are more than a collection of microservices running in a Kubernetes cluster. Some workloads are not suitable for running inside Kubernetes. You may wish to utilize other services from your cloud provider, such as big data, machine learning, or messaging services. Real applications require external services, such as domain name service entries, content delivery networks, identity and access management. With GitOps, the desired state, stored in Git, is continuously reconciled with the actual state running in Kubernetes. Any changes merged in Git are applied to Kubernetes. Any manual changes applied to Kubernetes are reverted back to the configuration stored in Git. Configuration drift is eliminated. The Weaveworks Terraform controller uses those same principles to manage resources outside of Kubernetes. The desired state is stored in Git as Terraform files and any dependencies. The reconciliation loop compares the actual state running on the cloud platform and applies the changes. Updating a cloud resource is as simple as a push to your Git repository. Configuration changes directly applied to cloud resources will be reverted back to the configuration stored in Git. The example I'm going to use is a simple Hello World Lambda function. If you've ever built one of these by hand, you'll know that actually they're not that simple. As well as the function, there's an S3 bucket, API gateway, IAM and CloudWatch logs to configure. The Weaveworks Terraform controller is an add-on to Flux. I've already bootstrapped Flux onto my Kubernetes cluster. There are other resources available that take you through how to do this. The Terraform controller is installed via Helm, with GitOps, of course. There's nothing special required for the Terraform configuration, just the regular files. I've put the Lambda function source in a subdirectory. This follows the example from the Terraform documentation. Because this follows the Terraform standard, you can test with the usual Terraform plan and Terraform apply. The magic happens in the Weaveworks Terraform controller manifest. Let's look at that. The Terraform controller creates a custom resource definition for Terraform. This references a Flux Git repository where your Terraform files and resources are stored. For the demo, I'm just using a Kubernetes secret to store the AWS credentials. For production, it would be better to use something more secure like HashiCorp Vault. The secret holding the credential is referenced by a name. Finally, the outputs from Terraform are also stored in a secret. Remember not to store any sensitive information, especially credentials, in Git repositories. The secret to store the AWS credentials is created via the command line. These values are then referenced from the Terraform file. The Terraform controller maps them in. That's enough talk. Let's see it in action. I have a GitHub repository with the Terraform files and the JavaScript source for the Hello World Lambda function. The main.tf file specifies the resources to be managed. The variables.tf file defines some variables to be used in the main file. The Weaveworks Terraform controller will also map in variables from the Kubernetes secret specified. I'm using these for the AWS credentials. The outputs.tf file specifies the data to be written out as Terraform runs. I have configured these to be written to a Kubernetes secret so that they can be used later. Finally, there's the JavaScript source for the Lambda function. Flux is already bootstrapped onto the Kubernetes cluster. The working directory is in the local clone of the management GitHub repository. First, I'll add the Weaveworks Terraform controller Helm repository. Next, I'll add a Helm release from that repository to install the controller. Adding these files and pushing the commit will cause GitOps to deploy the controller to the Kubernetes cluster. After a short delay, the reconciliation will finish and the Terraform controller pod will be running.
Looking at the status of Flux, it shows the added Helm repository and the release version resolved from the semver specified. Now I'll define the GitHub repository for the source for the Lambda function, consisting of the Terraform files and the body of the function. Finally, the Terraform custom resource definition to bring it all together. Notice how the Terraform custom resource definition references the Flux Git repository resource and the Kubernetes secret with the AWS credentials. It is also configured to write the outputs from Terraform to another Kubernetes secret. Again, these files are added and the commit pushed, which will cause GitOps to reconcile these entities on Kubernetes and the Terraform controller to reconcile with AWS. Watching the status of the Terraform custom resource shows it planning and applying the configured resources. After a short while, the reconciliation is complete. All done, let's check out what was built via the AWS console. The S3 bucket with the zip file of the Lambda function source. The Lambda function created from the S3 bucket. The API gateway to expose the Lambda function. Finally, the CloudWatch logs for the Lambda function and the API gateway, all created by Weaveworks Terraform controller as part of a GitOps constant deployment workflow. Now that everything has been created on AWS, let's test it. I have a simple script that gets the URL from the Kubernetes secret that was created to hold the Terraform outputs. Remember, this was configured in the Terraform custom resource definition. Then it just uses curl to execute the Lambda function via the API gateway. Now you can start applying GitOps to all your components of your application, not just those that run inside Kubernetes. To find out more, visit the Weaveworks website. We regularly host hands-on workshops. To join in, check the events page. Full documentation for the Weaveworks Terraform controller is available on GitHub.